Hi, my name is Stuart with Metro Home Theater Group. Today we're going to discuss features and functions of Spyclops products. To set up your wireless NVR, first you'll want to install your antennas, connect your monitor, connect your USB mouse, connect your network connection to the WAN port, and connect power. So now that you've plugged in and connected all the components to your Spyclops wireless NVR kit, it's time to get it set up. And the first thing we'll need to do is set a password. To do that, we're gonna right click, select System Setup, and it's gonna ask you for a login. The default out of the box password is blank, so you don't have to type anything, you just click OK. From there, we're gonna select System Admin, then User, and then Set Password. So the default password out of the box is blank, we don't type anything for that. We're gonna type a password here, a new password, it needs to be between four and 10 characters. And for this example, we're gonna use one, two, three, four. And where it says repeated, we'll need to type that password again. So for this example, one, two, three, four. Then you'll click OK, and then click OK again. And that has now applied that password to this NVR. You'll need to enter that password anytime you enter and log into the NVR anytime in the near future. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna set up the network to get it set up for online. For that, we're gonna right click, select System Setup, select Network Setup, and this unit right now has the default out of the box IP information. This may or may not work with your network out of the box. So just to make sure, we're gonna enable DHCP and click Apply, and we're gonna tell it yes. Now it has applied a new IP address, which is now compatible with our LAN. The next thing we're going to do is to set up the date and time for this unit. And to do this, we're gonna select General Setup, then Time Setup. And here, we wanna make sure that we select our correct time zone. Uh, here in sunny Florida, we are GMT minus five. This one is actually already set correctly, but we'll apply that. And we will make sure that we have sync time enabled. This is for internet-based update of the time. Once we've selected that, we also want ours to be 12 hours. That's gonna show us AM and PM on our clock times, uh, which will make it a little easier for reference uh, for understanding what time it is. After we've done that, we're gonna select sync time, and it'll ask us if we wanna continue and tell it yes. And now it has applied the correct date and time. The next step we're going to do is to set up the recording schedule. To do that, we're gonna select Record Setup. And in Record Setup, there is a number of options that we have available to us. We can schedule recordings based on time, or motion, or multiples of. Uh, in this example, we're gonna schedule this to record 24-7, seven days a week. And to do that, you're gonna select the weekday drop-down box, scroll all the way to the bottom, select every day. One tip I like to recommend is if you are going to do continuous recording, to go ahead and select motion as well and that'll make it easier to find when an event happened during playback. It'll have a green tick mark during playback instead of just solid red for when motion happened. After that, we're gonna hit copy two because we want it to happen on all cameras. So copy two, and we're gonna select all and okay. And then it's okay. And then we're gonna click apply to apply those settings. That's it, the basic setup for the NVR is now completed. For more information and helpful videos, please visit us at metrahometheater.com.